osteolysis of the distal clavicle. This is a normal AC joint, and this is a case of osteolysis of the distal clavicle. The osteolysis means bone erosion. The bone is dissolving or the bone is lost. There is a localized area of inflammation, hypremia, microfracture, bone resorption, and eventually arthritis of the AC joint. It is a micro-stress fracture, or it is a stress reaction in the distal clavicle with subsequent bone resorption. It typically affects younger male patients. It occurs from activities that require overhead heavy lifting, the repetitive motion, and the use of a jackhammer. The condition is common in weightlifters and laborers, and it occurs in younger people than patients with primary AC arthritis. There is a hyperemic response in the distal clavicle with localized bone resorption and cyst formation. Secondary AC joint arthritic changes may occur later during the disease process. In the examination, the weightlifter will come and complain that they are no longer able to lift the usual amount. You will find localized pain and the swelling and tenderness over the AC joint area, and the patient will have pain with terminal shoulder elevation and cross-body motion. Here is how you do the cross-body abduction test. 90-degree flexed arm and is abducted across the chest to the opposite side. And you can find that the area of pain and tenderness is just directly over the AC joint. X-ray will show erosion of the distal end of the clavicle. The acromion will be okay. You may see osteopenia, osteolysis, tapering, and cystic changes of the clavicle. MRI may be obtained to rule out additional shoulder pathology. The MRI will show high signal in the distal clavicle. Zanka view is usually helpful in showing the acromioclavicular joint. How do you do the Zanka view? The beam is directed with a cephalad angle of 10 degrees and you will use 50% penetration. And here's an example of the Zanka view that showed the AC joint. The clavicle osteolysis can be assessed using the Zanka views. These views can be helpful for the AC joint pathology. The acromion will be normal with the abnormality isolated to the distal clavicle. The Zanka view is also used for the diagnosis of arthritis of the AC joint. It will show the osteophytes and joint space narrowing. The finding of the X-ray may not represent the patient real symptoms. What is the differential diagnosis of distal clavicle osteolysis? Erosion or absence of the distal end of the clavicle may be seen in a wide range of conditions. Bilateral erosions, it can occur in hyperparathyroidism, in rheumatoid arthritis, in scleroderma. Unilateral erosion can occur in post-traumatic osteolysis, in myeloma, in metastasis, and then osteomyelitis. Treatment, rest, ice, activity modification, and anti-inflammatory medication. Injection, which can be a blind injection or ultrasound guided injection. Surgery, can be done if pain persists despite conservative treatment. The surgery will be arthroscopic or open resection of the distal clavicle. 
The arthroscopy will allow for evaluation of the shoulder joint and if there's any other pathology or not. If you do open resection, then repair the trapezius and the deltoid fascia adequately. Surgery is successful in about 90% of cases and resect 5 to 10 mm of bone. Keep the posterior superior ligament intact because it maintains the horizontal stability of the clavicle. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.